My name is Kevin Rooker. I'm a clinical marketing specialist here at Sipco Medical Solutions and today I'm going to demonstrate for you how to assemble your Infinity Plus needle guide. First, I want to attach the bracket. Now it's important to understand the bracket is customized to every transducer and the bracket is reusable. It is not disposable. So at the end of the procedure you want to be sure and keep your bracket. Now, inside the bracket are some locating features that you'll also find on the transducer. So, there's only one way it fits and only one way it'll go on. So, identify those locating features, line them up, and then when you put the bracket on, you'll hear a bit of a snap or a pop when it's on correctly. I'm going to put that back in my holder for now. Then we're also going to need a procedure kit. So, they come in two different types. We have a procedure kit for 12 to 18 gauge needles and a procedure kit for 18 to 25 gauge needles. So depending on what you're doing on any particular day will depend on which one you're using. So for today, I'm going to use the 12 to 18 gauge. So I'm going to open the procedure packet and drop it onto my sterile field. Now I'm going to put sterile gloves on and we'll continue on. So now I have sterile gloves on, I can open the package, and inside will be three things. There are the needle guides themselves, elastic bands that go with the probe cover, and then sterile gel. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of gel onto the probe. You can put gel onto the probe before you put the cover on, or you can put the gel inside the cover. It's a personal preference. Personally, I like to put it on the probe itself. Next, I'll take the probe cover and I'll grasp the probe and then pull the cover down. Then use the elastic bands to secure the cover onto the transducer. Then I'll choose the appropriate size guide for what I'm doing today. So today I'm going to use an 18 gauge device. So I just twist that off. And this fits only one way. That part, the rounded part fits in the bottom and this will click onto the top. And once it's on, it's secure and it's firm. Now I'll put a little bit of gel under the phantom. So now that the guide is attached, we're ready to go to work. So I'll demonstrate on this phantom, insert the needle into the channel. And the beauty of this guide is if during the procedure, I see that I don't like this angle that I'm currently going at, I can withdraw the needle slightly and change my angle. And I can do that repeatedly as often as I feel like I need to. And then, once I have the needle placed where I want it to be and no longer need the ultrasound probe, then I'll just simply remove it away with the quick release and then the needle stays where we put it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or want additional information on the Infinity Plus Needle Guide, use the contact information you see there on your screen.